1924, Russian-born morphologist Alexander A. Maximov used extensive histological findings to identify a singular type of precursor cell within mesenchyme that develops into different types of blood cells. Then, in 1960, scientists Ernest A. McCulloch and James E. Till first revealed the clonal nature of marrow cells. They were later referred to as colony-forming units fibroblasts. Mesenchymal stem cells are multipotent stem cells that differentiate into a variety of cell types, including osteoblasts, chondrocytes, and adipocytes. They also may be referred to as multipotent stem cells or MSCs. An extremely rich source of mesenchymal stem cells is the developing tooth bud of the mandibular third molar. The stem cells eventually form enamel, dentin, blood vessels, dental pulp, nervous tissues, and 29 different unique end organs. These stem cells have been shown capable of producing hepatocytes, which is the main tissue of the, of the liver. Oedipus tissue is one of the richest sources of MSCs when compared to bone marrow. There is more than 500 times more stem cells than one gram of fat when compared to one gram of aspirated bone marrow. The plasticity of marrow stem cells have the possibility of their fate being decided by environmental cues. To change the stem cell, the cell must go through a method called cellular differentiation. Cellular differentiation is the process by which a less specialized cell becomes a more specialized cell type. There are three forms of differentiation, adipogenic differentiation, where the mesenchymal stem cells turn to adipocytes, chondrogenic differentiation, where the mesenchymal stem cells are turned into chondrocytes, and the osteogenic differentiation, where the mesenchymal stem cells are turned into osteoblasts. In the study of multi-lineage potential of adult human mesenchymal stem cells by Mark F. Pittinger, adipogenic differentiation is induced in cultures by treatment with 1-methyl-3-isobutyl-xanthine, dexamethasone, insulin, and endomethacin. Induction is apparent by the accumulation of lipid-rich vacuoles within cells. These adipocytes expressed peroxisome proliferation activated receptor G2, lipoprotein lipase, and the fatty acid binding protein AP2. Multiple induction treatments resulted in more than 95% of cells committing to this lineage, and the lipid vacuoles continued to develop over time, coalesced, and eventually filled the cell. These adipocytes remained healthy in culture for at least three months. To promote chondrogenic differentiation, they gently centrifuge the isolated mesenchymal cells to form a pelleted micromass and cultured the cells without serum and with transforming growth factor B3. The cell pellets developed a multi-layered matrix rich morphology and histologically showed an increased proteoglycan rich extracellular matrix during culture. Type 2 collagen, which is typical of articular cartilage was detected at 10 to 14 days with monoclonal C4 F6. For each donor, the cells showed a positive stain of chondrocytic markers over an increasing proportion of the pellet from 10 to 21 days, and this persisted without decreasing. Similar cultures have been maintained for three months. Chondrocyte-like leukinae were evident in histological sections and the extensive extracellular matrix was with, rich with agrican and type 2 collagen. Finally, the osteogenic differentiation of cultured human mesenchymal cells that were derived from adult bone marrow has been characterized. Under the influence of dexamethasone, B-glycerol, phosphate and ascorbate, and in the presence of 10% fetal bovine serum, the isolated mesenchymal cells formed aggregates or nodules and increased their expression of alkaline phosphatase. Quantitative essays revealed a 
4 to 10 fold increase in alkaline phosphatase activity and calcium accumulation was evident after one week and increased over time. In conclusion, the study of human mesenchymal cell colonies showed that they possessed a multipotent capacity for lineage differentiation, thus proving to be mesenchymal stem cells. There are many other potential uses for MSCs. Many potential uses stem from the immunolatory properties of MSC as studied by Martin J. Hoogden in the immunodatory properties of mesenchymal stem cells and their use for immunotherapy. MSC have potent immunosuppressive capacity. This is demonstrated in vitro by the inhibition of T lymphocyte proliferation and pro-inflammatory cytokine production after mitogen or cellular stimulation by MSC. And MSC furthermore inhibit the antibody production of B cells and inhibit the generation and function of antigen-presenting cells. The Im immunosuppressive properties MSC may be able to prevent immune-inflicted damage of tissues and organs and allow repair after injury. There is strong evidence that the immunosuppressive capacity of MSC is induced under inflammatory conditions. Pre-stimulation of MSC with pro-inflammatory cytokines IFN gamma, TNF alpha, and IL-6 not only increase the potency of MSC to inhibit lymphocyte proliferation, it also boosts the speed of lymphocyte inhibition. Findings in the study clearly reflect that MSC biology is complex in living organisms and that results depend on a multitude of factors, one of which are non-standardized culture conditions used in different laboratories more and more experience with MSC also shows that distinct MSC preparations can have different effects in vivo even when cultured under the same conditions. It is thus hard to prospectively predict the in vivo effects of a given MSC culture. The opposing results observed in the above study suggest that MSC might act differently in vivo depending on their state of activation. That is why mesenchymal stem cells need more studies performed on them.